John, first of all, congratulations on being appointed the new sporting director of Stoke City. How does it feel? Just absolutely delighted to be to be trusted within this uh, within this role at the club. That's quite hard to articulate the the drive inside me to get this club back to where I see it belongs. How would you best describe the role? Well, it's across everything at the club, really. It uh, first and foremost, it's it's getting right across every department of the football club, and uh, and raising standards and as I said, getting us back to where I see we belong as a football club. But, step by step, um, day by day, just improving everything we do within the football club, whether that be the first team staff, the medical recruitment, uh, academy, the women's team, every part of the club, uh, I'll be right across and we really need to, to drive everyone, um, get our goals aligned right across the football club from the, from the board, the players, uh, the staff, the training ground and stadium and the fans and knowing what it takes to be, to be a Stoke City player and pulling everyone up towards where, as I said, where I see we, we should be back in the Premier League. How would you assess what's been achieved during the last six weeks during your time as interim? Look, I've come in and a lot of it's watching and, and seeing where the club is at. Um, you know, a huge credit goes to the, the, the manager and the, and the players for getting the results out there on the pitch. You know, and I'm just a case of, of getting in and getting under where we're at as a football club, and you know we're, we're, on, we're on a good bit of form at the moment in terms of the last the last six seven games. But we've got a we've got a big task between now and the end of the season, and not, I know our first task is to retain championship status this season. And we know what it needs to get there, and uh, we're just working towards that at the moment. You mentioned the players there and the coaching staff. What's been their reaction since you've been here? No, everyone's very open. You know, we've had results out there on the pitch. Um, and not everything's going to go our way in some games. Um, I like Saturday, we were 2-0 down and to, to come back 2-0 against West Brom was, was phenomenal at home. We did really well and, and other games won't go our way. So, yeah, look, it's, it's, they're, they're carrying on with their role at the football club and their job. And, uh, you know, it's about when I first came in, it was about pulling everyone and pointing everything in the right direction and making sure we're all aligned. Uh, and, and understanding what it takes from the player's point of view to be a player out there on the pitch. And myself trying to articulate that to individuals, to groups, and uh, you know, all credit must go to the players to, to produce the results we have so far. The fans helped the players on Saturday against West Brom. What have you made of their response over the last few weeks? Look, the fans have been phenomenal since I've been, been here, been back in the building. And we had a response and I spoke about the home support, but the away support's been been second to none and uh, mentioned the Preston game and you know the whole game was pretty similar to that. I haven't really seen the away following like that for a very long time and you know we we're 2-0 down here at the weekend to West Brom and uh, you know I've spoken about the, to the players and about the staff you, you haven't quite seen it yet you haven't quite seen the stadium full and what it can be like and you know partly my role is to help put a team out there on the pitch that'll give the fans something to cheer about and, and fill the stadium and you know, we talk about all the work that the commercial team are doing behind the scenes and, and Simon King as well with the, with the fan zone and the, all the things we want to create at the stadium. We have a, we have a, a standard zone behind the goal next year and we reclaim both ends. If we can get this place going again, which I truly believe we can, and the players will really see what the, what, what the fans can be like. Um, but between now and the end of the season, we've got some huge games. We still need, we still need that support. And as I said, every game won't be going our way. There'll be ups and downs between now and the end of the season, I'm sure, um, and, they, uh, and they play a huge part. Um, I know it, and it's, uh, you can't articulate it enough, um, and the, the players respond to that, and hopefully you saw that on Saturday. So yeah, they've been, they've been second to none. You've been out and about to watch plenty of matches over the last few weeks. How crucial is that for the role? You look, I go out and every night of the week and I'm, I'm watching some sort of football, whether that be players coming into the building, other teams to see where we're at in, in, in the league and, and how we can improve and uh, help them with whether that be you know tactics for teams we're going to play against between now and the end of the season but you know a huge part of my role is, is getting right across the age groups and I watch I watch games from under nines, tens, elevens all the way through to under 18s and 21s and you know we'll have the under 21s tonight here against Arsenal and I've seen how coaches develop, players develop in those what we've got coming through the academy it's a huge part of 
of what we want to do now is instill a DNA to the to the academy as well. And you know, we, we we've produced some players over the past few years, but you know, we want to produce more. We, we want to have a pathway for players right through to the first team, and really instill what it is to be a Stoke City player. And that starts to believe it or not, underlines and those messages we're going to get right across through the age groups and the phenomenal work the academy put in every day as well. And you know. Success is different in different departments and success for them is getting a player in the first team. You know, we currently have some players around it. You have Nathan Lowe, Emre out on loan, Sol Sadibi, Tommy Simkin, and there's other players bubbling underneath. So it's, it's developing those players to show there's, there's, a, there's a pathway. We want to have a smaller squad over the next few years to, to give them a chance to flourish in the first team. But also for coaches to develop, you know, in the, we have coaches that have come right through the academy pathway and showing them that there's a, there's a path for them um, to develop themselves for a future in football as well. Talking of goals, what do you see as the short-term and long-term targets at Stoke City? Well, immediately it's about retaining championship status this season and then it's building step by step. We're going to be on a journey now and success is not linear. We'll have ups and downs along the way, um, but it's about the journey and who's on that journey with us. Um, success will be better than we've ever been before um, and I go back to my time and you know we finish in the top 10 three years on the run and that's not that's not beyond us but it's building step by step along the way it's not going to happen overnight it's going to be a journey that we're going to be on with the players with the fans with the staff but to be on that journey standards are going to have to be high um, and as I said anyone that I bring in the building will have to understand the DNA is Stoke City and what it means to, to be a player of this club and represent this city. And that's what I want to give back to the, to the football club, back to the city, to say, this is who we are, this is how we're going to get there. You mentioned your time here as a player, you enjoyed a successful period here. What was that success built on? People. The DNA of Stoke, uh, as a city, uh, we understood um, what it took to represent uh, this city and out there on the pitch and how we conduct ourselves, it's not just on the pitch, it's how we conduct ourselves off it, how we live, um, and people have got to live and breathe it. I did as a player, the players around me did, um, but there's no reason, you know, every player in the building can, can be the same now, and as I said, when we, when we shape the, the, the staff, when we shape the squad, it's about, it's about instilling that and understanding the, 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 the hunger, the passion, and the relentlessness of this city and to put that out there on the pitch um, will hopefully produce results to get us there. Since retiring from playing, you've filled a various number of roles. How do you feel as though those roles have equipped you for this role? Look, yeah, since I retired, I've purposely took on multiple different roles that, for this reason. So I can understand every department, understand what it takes, and understand best in, best in class and in where I see it should be and talk about standards and not just talking about on the pitch and and work rate it's about every department of where i see you know what work you should put in what what standards you expect of each other and you know i'm not going to be one of these people that it's um my way or the highway and you know i'm going to lay down the hard lines for people to to listen to it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna lead people it's gonna have a an open dialogue and debate and uh but really good people in the building that are going to grow, grow individually, grow collectively and grow the club. What are the footballing traits you believe the Stoke City fans want to see? Well, first of all, it's your, it's your work ethic and uh, your desire and your relentlessness uh, in everything you do, not just, not just your, your daily work ethic, how you treat people. Um, but, you know, when, when I first came in, one of the things I mentioned was, you know, when the chips are down, and things aren't going your way, um, the, these fans are right behind you, and uh, the city's behind you, and you know, that, that goes for every individual that's in that building, whether it be the training ground or the stadium, uh, and that's what I want to instill and, and show to people that you know, we're all in this together. It's not me going to produce the results, it's not me going to just lead the team, we need leaders right across the board, and we need those people that have that, the hunger and desire to push this club forward. And I said we're not. We're not just a little Stoke City, we're not just happy to be in the Championship. And we're one of the founding members of this football in this country. And we're going to get ourselves back there to where I see us, where we belong. I'll be expecting a high standard of everyone around me. And reminding people if they don't, if they don't reach that, 
Um, you want good people in the building. You want good people to drive us forward. You know, they're my values of you want humble people. You want humility from everything we do and everyone around us. You want people to own things. Um, hold your hands up when you make a mistake and have an open dialogue. And uh, you know, I tell players, talk about discipline, I tell players, you have discipline, it'll give you the freedom to do whatever you want to do. Whether it be whether it be learning a guitar, whether it be playing piano, whether it be studying, whether it be playing football, whether it be getting stronger in the gym, you have the discipline to do this every single day. It'll improve you. You'll get to where you want to get to, but you've got to do it every single day. There's no there's no days off. There's no relaxing and, and thinking we're safe or thinking we've we've achieved something. Um, it's the relentless to push yourself forward and we're always looking for the what's best around us, we're always pushing each other on. Um, and you know, so I think they're that they're the they're the uh, that's the DNA of the football club, that's the DNA of the city. And we need a little bit of that within us all and the fans want to see that up there on the pitch as well. If people buy into what you want, what will they get in return from you? They'll have everything from me, they'll have my backing. Um, I'll back anyone. I'll, I'll help anyone as much as they want help and I'll push people. Um, sometimes it's, it won't be nice, but I'll always put the club first. Um, whatever I do, it'll always be with the, for the club's benefit, um, for, 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 the, for the owners, um, for the players out there on the pitch, for the staff around me. Everything I do will be for the benefit of them. And I'll always put myself last and I'll always put the club first. And that's how I'll, I'll treat the role. I'll never do anything to, to further myself, it'll always be for the club. How do you feel about the Stoke City fans and how much motivation do you have to bring success here? The fans have been great with me since I walked in the building in 2010. Um, and I've always seen them as right behind the person out there on the pitch and the, the staff members. And, you know, there's some staff and there's people that have been here right from that 14 years ago since I've been here. And people have seen success and people have seen failure. And, you know, we'll look back over the past, what, six, seven, eight years and we'll, we'll see where we've gone wrong, but we won't dwell on it. We'll use all those lessons we've learned along the way and uh, we're using to our advantage. We know, we know what it takes to be successful. We know where we've gone wrong. And it's about, as I said, it's about building step by step every single day to get where we want to be. I see us back to where we belong in the Premier League. I see us better than we've ever been before. And there's no reason in my eyes why this club can't be back to there. But it's going to take time and we're going to build it. I'll say to every player, every staff member, every fan, if you want to be on board, be on board, but I'd expect you to give everything for me and for this football club.